As most of you know, we've been very keen to try and help protect hedgehogs in Bigbury. And one of the ways in which we can all do this is to not use slug, chemical slug pellets for slug controls. We hate slugs. They eat everything, including these lovely cabbages that we've got here, kale. Um, and uh, we have had a lot of slugs in this bed, as you can see. Henry has been using 10% um, beer solution in these glass jars. Um, they're empty at the moment, but we're going to top them up. Very successful. In, in one night, we actually had 330-odd slugs in drowned in eight um, beer traps. So that really is worth doing. And the other thing is bothering to come out in the night with a torch and pick them off. And if you're a bit squeamish about sluggy things, you can use um, eyebrow tweezers or chopsticks uh, if you don't want to touch them because they're a bit slimy. But every one that you manage to collect or kill in a beer trap is hundreds and hundreds of babies that they can't have. So it's worth the effort. And it will take um, about three to four years to get the balance right in your soil with um, the use of biological control and n avoiding the use of sl uh, slug, chemical slug pellets. So the other thing that we're doing now is using this type of product, which is um, a nematode specifically that kills slugs. It'll have some effect on snails, but they are really so easy to see and pick off with your hands at night that I would use this really for slug control. So this, um, this product is produced by BASF and there are, I think, one other product on the market. But if anybody actually wants some advice about how to use this, give me a call and I'm happy to help. Um, in the meantime, let me just show you how easy it is to use. Um, the full instructions are on the back of the packet, so I won't go through all the maths. But we've actually made up here, as you can see, uh, about 20% of the packet and the rest we'll use tomorrow. And you do have to keep it agitated um, so that the nematodes in the stock solution here don't settle out. So that is now fully agitated. And according to the instructions, uh, one, this is about uh, 500 mils of the agitated solution goes in half a watering can. All pretty easy. And that's the same one that we're using for the uh, Yorkshire puddings, by the way. Uh, we'll wash it. Um, so here you go. Um, you need to get the solution on and around the uh, plants that are being affected. You can see it's pretty easy. Um, and these nematodes are tiny. You won't really be able to see them um, very well. Um, but they need to be in moist soil. So you'll notice that Henry's had the irrigation on beforehand. They, they can't um, make their way through a desert and you have to pre-irrigate the soil and we will then, after we've put this on all the plants that we can see that are affected, we will put the irrigation on again. So both slugs and the beneficials, um, these nematodes, need to have moist soil in order to move. So, um, so Louise, what is a nematode and how does it kill the slug? Well, a nematode is a very tiny eelworm. Let's call it an eelworm. It doesn't harm people, it doesn't harm hedgehogs, and it doesn't harm birds or pets or children. So um, the way that this eelworm, this nematode, kills the slug is that it will make its way into the slug through little orifices. And you know what an orifice is, a little hole. And once it gets inside, this um, very clever little uh, organism has bacteria inside its gut. And when it gets inside the slug, I hope you're not eating your dinner, but actually it will vomit out the bacteria that's in its gut into the body of the slug. And then providing the temperatures are right, above five degrees centigrade, 
which is where we are now, we're fine now, um, it, those bacteria will reproduce and that slug will die from, let's call it septicemia. It, it, will, it will actually um, die and that's what we want, dead slugs, isn't it? But we don't want dead, dead hedgehogs, so please don't use uh, chemical um, slug pellets.